I'm Taylor. And I'm Zoo. And, and today we are doing the hot wing challenge. We have the hottest blazing, wing, the blazing hot wings from Buffalo Wild Wings, and we each get ten wings, and we're gonna see who can eat the most wings. Whoever eats the most wings gets a cash app prize. Yeah. So, how much money? Let's do ten. Let's do fifty. Let's. Okay, we'll do fifty. A hundred. All right. No, I'm not gonna win, so I gotta think about my money. Right. Let's do 20. Let's do 10. <laughs> so let's just do a dub, 20. Okay, we'll do 20. All right, y'all, so we're doing the Blazing Hot Wings Challenge. Whoever wins gets $20 cash prize. And these supposed to be the hottest hot wings from Buffalo Wild Wings. Buffalo Wild Wings, so we'll see. These things are drenched in hot sauce. They're drenched. Ah. No drink? Should we do no drink? <laughs> no, we got to do a drink. I need to put on. Be back. Whoa, they shorted us. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <gasps> they shorted us two wings. Two Come on, wings. Buffalo Wild Wings. Are you sure? Yes, Count yours again. I did. I counted them One, three times. One, two, two three, three, four, five, five six, six, seven, eight, eight nine, ten. ten. Oh, Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm going to need two dollars back. Come on, B-dubs. All right. So while we're doing this, we're also going to do this like, oh, it's a challenge, but it's also mukbang style, I guess that's what they call it or whatever mukbang is. So we're just going to be talking to y'all while we're trying to do this challenge. Um, hey, come on. Well, I don't think I'm going to win anyway, so it doesn't matter. Still. Yeah. You still paid for it. But you just said something about flats. Let's speak. Speaking, speaking of first topic, we love flats. Like black folks, we love flats. Oh. I don't know what it is, but the flats is just. I think you just get more meat I'm from the flats. Don't lick my fingers right now. Don't lick them. All right, here we go. We ready? Let's start. And like y'all learned from the last video, I ain't got no tooth in the front. I lost my flipper, or not flipper, but basically a flipper retainer piece for the tooth. I don't know what I did. I think I wrapped it up in some toilet paper or tissue paper. You forgot to tell them how you lost it. We'll get into Originally. that. We're gonna get into that. But I think I threw it away by accident. But yeah, so now I have to walk around with no tooth. I'm going to the dentist on Monday to try to, try to see how much it would cost to get a new one. And I'm gonna pay for it for it. On the front one. Oh. I said, okay. let me know how much is it. Okay. Let me know how much it is. Yeah. Okay, yeah. But yeah, cause I'm chill about it now. Like I'm not as embarrassed about it now. Cause I mean, I can't do nothing about it, but uh, yeah, so let's get into it. First wing. <clears throat> oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, Sorry, this is the first bite. Oh. <sighs> ah, <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> People were exaggerating in these videos about this. Got the hiccups now. I did. I just got the hiccups. She's got all in my nose. <sighs> I already don't like buffalo sauce anyway. I think it's the buffalo sauce. I think it's the buffalo sauce. What else would it be? I thought it was just hot sauce. <laughs> no, it's buffalo. I didn't know that. You really want this big dollars? Twenty. Twenty dollars, yeah. So <clears throat> I need to give myself a break. There's no time limit on time limit on this, so it's, the, the story behind my tooth, I was like, 
She was fighting. No, I wasn't fighting. <clears throat> it was like going into the eighth grade. What's going on? <sighs> My nose is running. So I was going into the eighth grade. I was at summer camp. <clears throat> I was at a summer camp and and I don't know what it was. You know, when you're young, you do dumb stuff. So we were running around. Bring some milk. He needs some milk. We were running around. Um, hitting each other with flip flops. I don't know why. And they were hitting each other pretty hard. And I wasn't in that. So uh, this boy started running towards me with his slipper. So I, you know, running away from him, trying to dodge him. He, I fell out of nowhere. I tripped and I hit my mouth on, I hit my mouth on a chair and I had braces at the time. So this tooth that's out here uh, and this tooth beside it came out, but because I had braces, they didn't fall on the floor. So they rushed me to the oral surgeon. Uh, they put the same teeth back in and I, after I got my braces off, I had to get root canals. Um, but even then, I knew that my parents knew that they, this tooth and the tooth beside it would, would have eventually had to have come out because um, the root canal wasn't helping the tissue, you know, the, the nerves wasn't connected to the root of the gum, of the tooth anymore. So basically, I'm gonna put pictures so y'all can see how bad it was when I um, fell and it came out of my mouth. And I'm gonna put pictures in uh, of what my tooth looked like before, like the tooth, my tooth decaying before I um, got it pulled. But yeah, so that's the story behind my tooth. You okay? You okay? It's not hot. Why are you sitting there talking right now? I'm kind of raw. They did what? Kind of raw. Ah, oh, my lips. So I got rings sitting right here. Me too. I didn't even use it. It's too late for me to walk it. I'm done. Really? My lips are freaking burnt. All right. Well, let's say this. If there was a um. Buffalo wild wings. These yeah. hot, but they're actually cooked really good. Oh, yeah, they're like good. the wings are cooked good, but. This is too hot. Ah, oh, really hot, man. Maybe I like to challenge more. myself. That's why I be <clears throat> trying to get to do challenges like this. Maybe if I eat more, uh, I'll become immune to it. Maybe, yeah, maybe. You know, lips will get so numb that you can't do nothing about it. Yeah. Name one album where you can do no skips. one album out there that you would not you couldn't skip there's nothing you can skip on that album y'all comment down below an album from any artist whoever i think i call it no i would call it a no skip album where there's not one song on that album you would skip i don't think i could i don't think there's i've ever listened to any album you know maybe the first time because i always listen to the first song all the way through all the way through but I don't think there's any album that I that I like that I've never skipped like at least one song. And that's just because if I don't like the melody and the vibe of the song, like if the beat and the melody isn't, um, if I don't like it, I'm gonna skip it. So, mm -hmm. <sighs> or if the lyrics are just like the message from the song or the lyrics is, if I don't like it, then. I'm just kidding. I guess I'm, I guess you could say I'm a pretty picky listener. 
but yeah. Um, How was that with the ribs? I feel better, not much better than. And it's like your lips. My lips are burning. Just sitting there marinating on your lips right now. Can you open this? I can say for me, So far, so I'm not gonna eat no more until you eat some more. Let me wipe my mouth, it might help. So I'm winning so far, y'all. But an album for me, I guess I can do no skips is Beyonce's. Um, is it B Day? Let me see your phone real quick. I think it's B Day with um. It's got like a kitty cat and <laughs> yeah, yeah. I could do all these beautiful liar, irreplaceable, green light, kitty cat. My mouth, y'all. This is no joke. Around here and all down my chin is burning, but it has freaking dress. Ring the alarm, resentment, deja vu, sugar mama, freaking, I said freaking this is upgrade. Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't have to skip that. That's a good one. Um, what is another album I think I could get through without skipping? I actually could get through Juice World's, his first one, Good Goodbye, Good Riddance. Mm -hmm. I could go through that whole album and not skip anything. If I were to skip anything, it would be the skits that he has in the, you know, in between songs. But I wouldn't, I, you know, they're so short, you don't really have to, it's not that big of a deal to skip them or not. Or not. Yeah, I like that album, Good Goodbye, Good Riddance. Because, you know, you know, I went through that period. I, I, something is wrong with me because, like, I was through a phase where I just loved his music. And I was like, this young man. Remember, like we need to go to I literally said this thing, we need to go to his concert and have a sign that says, Be our friends, we'll love you and we'll treat you right or something like that. Yeah. I literally said it to him and that was what? 2018. That was two years ago. Because it was uh my sophomore year mm -hmm. in college, yeah. So yeah. I like that album a lot. I I wouldn't skip anything from that album. You put me on. You put me on. I ain't gonna say you didn't put me on, baby. I know you put me on. I so you gonna let me win? So we can end this video right now because I won? Yeah, you got it. I got it. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even wanna touch no more. Honestly. <clears throat> Sometimes the the matter is just bigger than your mind. <laughs> like, right. Sometimes the matter is bigger than your mind, but this right here, because it goes away so I mean not fast. Like I still feel a little ting, a little burning. We gonna get this whole gallon of milk before your mouth cool off. My mouth still ain't cool yet, so you got it. But anyways, well y'all tell him now it's me against y'all because he done quit. So if y'all go home, go home. Or if y'all at home. And y'all trying to do this challenge, or y'all end up doing this challenge, try to beat me. Because I'm going to do all eight of mine. <laughs> I'm going to do more of mine to see how strong I am. So if you um, want to set your mouth on fire, go right ahead. I am. Okay. Um, tell them how you feel about 
celebrities or about being a celebrity or basically like why we got into YouTube. Let's talk about that. Why we decided to start doing YouTube. Um, because... Oh, from your perspective, and then I'll give my perspective next. Why I wanted us to start YouTube. Well, um, I mean, people make a lot of money off of YouTube, first of all. Let's just put that out Let's there. Just put that Let's out be there. honest. Just being know? honest. Everybody who on YouTube talking about something, oh, we do it because we love, which is true. They do. We do it, too, because it's fun, and we, love, we like to do it, and we love to do it. But there's big money in this. Yeah. If you get like a big enough platform, you can really make a killing off this. Like you can yeah. live your life through YouTube. So yeah, <clears throat> that was one, yeah. That's I'm one, sorry. That's one thing. I'm sorry. I, it's like this opportunity. This is an opportunity. Has been an opportunity for us um, to like learn more about each other. Yeah. And just another way for us to grow closer together. So I'm thankful for that. <clears throat> Um, celebrities? You want me to talk about celebrities? Oh, right. like, well, let me get my point of view first. Um, but yeah, like you said, about us getting to know each other, if you go back and watch our first ever challenge, I guess, video where we did smacks or fats, mm -hmm. we really didn't know that much about each other. And I think that's crazy. We've been together, we'll be together three years in September. And I didn't, you know, didn't know some small things about him that this should be should be a given, you know. Oh snap, he's eating three. This is bad. I'm eating four. Anyways, <laughs> another reason I thought we should get into YouTube, like we said, because so we can bond and go together. But also, we would make videos, or I'll post videos of us interacting with each other on Snapchat, and a lot of my friends and his friends would be like, "Y'all need to make a YouTube." We, or they would come, they would swipe up and say waiting on the YouTube channel mm -hmm. or you know y'all need to do a YouTube because y'all are funny um and I'm the funny one not him but I said we should do it babe anyway. <clears throat> I said we should do it because the, the people want it let's give the people what they want I think I'm going crazy because of these hot wings probably these things are hot, y'all. This is this is no joke. It's like let's try to let's get behind the camera. So, cause also he's not a very, you know, not flamboyant, but like I'm out there, as y'all can tell, I'm doing a lot of the talking. Sorry. I'm a wild, not a wild child, but I'm a social butterfly. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm not no wild child. So I, you know. And more out there with my personality. My personality is bigger than his. <clears throat> um, so I thought this would be something for him to get out of his little shell and show off a little bit more of his personality to the people. But anyway, go ahead with the celebrities. But yeah. If you were a celebrity, how would you use your platform? And, you know, oh. or like, <clears throat> um, how would you want to live your life as a celebrity or a famous person? Or just a person of notoriety, not even so much famous, but like say if we had a little small community of people that just looked at, you know, looked up to you or look after you. Well, um, if that were the case, if, that's, if that was my circumstance currently, I would definitely be using my platform to speak on uh, the issues that society is facing right now. Mm -hmm. um, especially the tough topics that no one wants to really talk about mm -hmm. and then a lot of times celebrities will shy away from uh, using their platform to speak on stuff right. like that especially like social injustice because they feel like they're gonna be um, they'll lose what they gain mm -hmm. for um, speaking about what they believe in but <clears throat> I don't want to be famous if I can't you know <clears throat> if, I have you to, if I have to hide myself mm -hmm. and hide how I feel and how I think and live my life, you know. I want to be able to live my life how I want to live it and not in fear or worry about someone, how someone's going to think about what I believe. So, yeah, I just think a lot of celebrities are, not a lot, but some of them are cowards. Like, they, they should be using their platform to uh, say something. They, yeah, because they can help, especially with kids like 
kids are easily influenced and a lot of kids look up to celebrities so yeah. I know it's tough because everything you do say all that stuff yeah someone's watching so you always have to be on your toes as a celebrity which is why I always said I wouldn't want to be famous anyway I just want the money so exactly always <clears throat> that question would you rather be rich or fame or uh, would you rather be wealthy or famous or something like that? Wealthy all the way. If I had money and I have to worry about, you know, people worry about what I'm doing all the time, you know, that's like that's what that's why I respect Colin Kaepernick so much. He did not shy away from what he believed. He said, "Y'all don't give me a job, even though I'm one of the best quarterbacks in the league right now." Oh well, I am fighting for what I believe in. You may not agree with him. You may agree with him. You may not like what he's doing, but it doesn't matter. He's still standing for something, and he's going to keep standing for it. Right. Don't don't shy away because you might lose deals. You might lose money. There's always part-time. I feel like, for me, it's always something out there. There's a job out there for something. You can scrape together. There's women, men, everywhere doing, you know, <clears> scraping <throat> up money to get they get what they need. Just because you're a celebrity, and all of a sudden, you knock down, and you don't have no money or whatever. That don't mean you can't get back up and keep grinding and do what you got to do to live your life. It ain't all about um, having having the notoriety. And then once you get that platform and you express yourself, you know, there's always somebody who relates to you, somebody who agrees with you. And the fact that they know who you are because you're a celebrity, they'll nine times out of ten, they'll probably look out for you anyway. Right. Just like, uh, <clears throat> let's say, you can't please everybody. There's always going to be somebody, you know, that doesn't like what you're doing or somebody doesn't like what you said or somebody doesn't think that you thought that was like, you like you might think something was funny. They might not think it's funny. You think she's pretty. I might not think she's pretty. You you know what I'm saying? Like everybody has their own opinions. Mm -hmm. You can't please everybody. Right. So, oh, well, if you don't like it, oh, well. <sighs> Nine, four. All right, that's four, y'all. <clears throat> Try to do one more. <laughs> Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it, a thumbs down if you didn't. But don't do thumbs up because we know you loved it. You loved it. And we love you. And we love you.